What's up everybody, it is your boy Totally Rico, back with another video. I took some time off, um, I was working on the Minecraft video, but also I just felt like taking some time off to uh, think about my self-care. Self-care is a great little song by Mac Miller, but also it's a very important subject. Damn, what a nice little goal. But also it's an important subject in general. Uh, you should take proper care of yourself, you should always try to like improve yourself, but also make sure you, you stay sane while doing it, right? And that's another goal. This is gonna be a quick game. Let's get into the first topic, just so they don't forfeit right away. Pick the right friends. Um, you're gonna meet a lot of people throughout your life. And you're gonna have a lot of opportunities to get to know these people better and maybe even start hanging out with them. Um, but it's not worth trying to get a high score. It's not worth being like, okay, I have 20 friends. I know them all like 5%, but they're pretty cool. I wanted to start doing YouTube and like stream, so I became friends with KPG. Um, we hit it off really well, we have a very similar type of humor, and honestly, great guy. Um, so pick the right friends, like if somebody seems like they do the right things, imagine this was like a, a different guy, right? Me and Waffles, we recorded a video, and I was like, damn, this guy is a bit bigger than me, and like, um, also does gaming content, so let's fucking do something together. But it ended up being um, that he made like gaming videos with like a certain group and they were very like used to each other. And we just didn't really match that well. We didn't really get along like um, as well. Uh, so I was a bit picky and I was like, okay, let me not fucking like do this again, right? Ah, so pick the right friends. And one way to make sure you pick the right friends is be genuine and caring. If you are a gen if you are being genuine and somebody is like, damn, I don't like this about you, probably not the right friend. And be caring. These people are in your life for a reason. And you should care about them as much as they care about you. Um, I want to see my friends succeed and my friends want to see me succeed. Don't do something with like intentions. Um, that aren't like pure like i don't want to go into a relationship being like oh this is only going to be for a couple for a couple months and then i'll move on to the this girl i actually want but who's in a relationship right now right i'm not like that i want to be I, I i don't want to be that guy um ah this is scary as fuck man how do they have so much pressure right now No! So, be genuine and scary. And uh, caring, not scary. Well, be genuine and scary. No, and um, don't be scared to lose friends. If you change or if a person doesn't... Ends up not being a great fit. Don't be scared to lose that friendship. If you guys just don't work together. Uh, imagine... You are into the same shit. Imagine you are into the same shit, but it ends up being, oh, this guy doesn't appreciate fucking, I don't know. Imagine you have some friends and you are both into gaming. However, this guy gets big into like scamming people, right? I have some friends who, or I had friends who ended up like having a little career in scamming. It's not the greatest thing, but like, I don't want, I don't fuck with them. I'm not gonna be like, oh, hey, we still uh, match on this other shit. No, no, they're fucking being horrible dicks. I don't wanna, I don't wanna hang out with them, you know? It's a very extreme example, but I hope you get what I mean. Don't be scared to lose friends. You always meet more people and there's always more shit to do. And especially if you get into something and you start expanding your personality, you'll find people that are into like similar shit. I started skating recently. Uh, I absolutely love it, having a great time, um, and I'm meeting more like skater people because we go to like the skate park and people are like, yo, try this shit, and then I learn something new, you know, and as you expand your personality, you also get more opportunities to make friends, because as you're younger, most of your friends will come from school, right, 
But as you get older, you're gonna start making friends at work and maybe... I have my best friend right now, or I have a lot of best friends. I'm not gonna be like, oh, this is my best friend. Um, but we met each other at work. Uh, and we were like, yo, I wanna make content. He was like, I wanna make shit. I'm not gonna like get into his career since I don't wanna like expose him. Um, but he was like, yo, I wanna make shit. And I was like, I want to make content. Let me help you with promotion and you can help me with like his shit, right? And like that, we got like closer together. And then we were like, oh shit, let's start trading. We started trading and then we expanded to like, let's start skating. We started skating. Uh, and like slowly, that's how you expand your personality. And with him, I met like new traders. I met, well, actually not new traders. I meet like skaters and, and shit like that, you know? Like, expand your personality. Always try to add something to whatever you're doing if you have enough time to do extra. It's better to spend half an hour on a skateboard a day, even though it won't really count up that quick, than watch YouTube for half an hour a day and, like, it doesn't really add up to anything, right? Oh! Let's go! Little fakey, 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 oh la la, put yourself first, I'm not saying, oh, you're the number one priority in life, don't care for other people, as long as you're benefiting, like, you're doing the right thing, no, 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 put yourself first, like, take care of yourself first, and this is a big problem I have, I started spending a lot of money on friends and a lot of energy on helping them out even though i myself wasn't in the greatest place i like financially i was fine but mentally i i wasn't doing good at all and i kept trying to i don't know talk, let my friends know like what they should do not not like in a in a i know everything way but like just try to help them out and it just ended up being really bad for me so put yourself first, yes, help your friends, but first off, help yourself. It will help you build more character and just be better. So next thing I want to say is be a role model and a teacher. Um, there's a lot of younger people in my life, right? A lot of friends have kids and a lot of like daughters and, oh no, daughters, uh, siblings. Um, like a lot of people have siblings, either siblings or kids in my life right now. Um, and I'm very like, I want to have the right impact on them. I, I recently bought a PC for uh, someone's little brother. Like I, I know him most of his life. Like I didn't do it for like her. I did it for like the little brother and myself, right? I felt great after doing it. Uh, forfeit already. This is going to be four game, four game video. Um, but be a good role model and teacher. I'll get into that in the next game. As a role model, you should be doing the right things, right? You should be focusing on... Um, oh, people look up to me. I want to make a positive impact on them. If you fucking rob stores, you aren't that big of a role model. Like, I get the hustle. Like, um, there are, like, problems in the world, right? You always have, like, uh, a reason for something. But is it really, do you want to have some kid look up to you like, like that? Or would you rather be like, okay, uh, enjoy life. Like the first thing that comes is your own well-being, yada, yada, yada. Like I'm not going to get into like my methods, but being a role model goes like deeper than just being like, oh, I want to be an actor just like Yano Reeves. It's actually like, oh, I want to be a nice guy like Yano Reeves. Let's see. Like, kids are very moldable. Like, they look up to you, right? Uh, and... Uh, and saying the right things and doing the right things will make them think more about what you're doing. And being a teacher kind of comes hand in hand with that. If there's some kid being like... Uh, or, yeah, with the PC, right? I bought a PC for someone. Um... If the kid is like, oh, uh, nice, fucking, I like, okay, I, 
they're having problems with the PC. It's a good PC, but they didn't install the drivers yet. His sister doesn't know how to, and the brother is like fucking 10, you know? So like next time I see him, I'm gonna explain to him, oh, this is how you install your drivers. That's not that important. You can figure it out. But this is how you update your shit, right? Like, um... Like, uh, being a teacher is just explaining a bunch of shit. Like, I would love... Like, there's also other people, like, uh, around my age. And they're like, oh, should I... I have a bunch of savings. Should I put everything into some shit coin and try to make it a bunch of money? And I'm like, nah, man. Put it all in dividends. You'll get a regular payout. Um, and it's uh, pretty stable if you, like, spread it across a bunch of stocks. Okay, that both just missed. We got two goals though. Um, so yeah, that's also like being a teacher, right? Being uh, informative. Help I mean, that's pretty much what it comes down to. You know what a teacher is. Um, next thing I want to talk about is being more like self-centered. Be more optimistic. You, It's really annoying if you're like making something and you're like, ah, fuck this shit. It's only going to get four views. I don't want to put too much energy in this. Nah, man. Yes, it's probably going to get four views, but anything can be your breakaway, right? Anything can be your, like... You should just put passion in, in everything since you, need, you can be optimistic. The reason I skate a bunch is because I want to be able to, like, go downstairs and shit. And logically speaking, I started when I'm 20. It's going to take a long time for me to be able to... Uh, do that type of shit so I'll probably just be done by like 30 or something right I'll be able to do that at like 30 however um, being optimistic I allow myself to think more about uh, being optimistic I allow, I allow myself to be more like yeah I, we can go down a 3 stair in, within like a year by the end of this year I want to be able to do this 3 stair I don't know if I can but I have the right to think so you know and it makes you more want to learn. If you're like, hmm, I really want to get into making YouTube videos. I want to be a better editor. So I'm going to start my own channel. But these views are really low. So I'm not going to put that much energy in. You're not going to get better. You need to be able to put energy in for no fucking reason. You know? Um, and that's part of being optimistic. Optimistic is more a fucking motive than a mindset. You know? Um... But with that also comes be interested in others. Um, if you're like... If you're talking to someone, be genuine and caring, right? The, if they say, hey, my leg kind of hurts. And you're like, oh, did you hurt yourself? And they're like, ah, yes, I, I skated, but I pulled this trick, I landed it. And like, now my leg hurts. Be like, ah, damn, but hey, you landed it. Or be like, um, oh, like my dad has a lot of back pain right now, right? So I'm be man, this is gonna be a fucking five fucking game video, I think. Or four. This was the third game. I'm still not done with all my second talking points. Boy yeah. Like if you have some friend and he tells you, damn, I wanna work on this, I'm gonna start doing that now. Uh, and you just fucking forget, he's gonna be like, oh, he's not interested in my hobbies, you know? If I'm working on some big project and I tell a friend about it. And I send them some video, or like, and I tell a friend about it, and I, I send them that video. Um, I kind of expect them to be like, ah, yes, these points you can improve. This is like nicely done, yada yada yada, right? And I want to do the same thing for my friends. I want to be able to give advice and be interested in what they're doing, just so I can actually have an opinion, right? It's like politics. If you don't watch it at all, it's hard to know whether you're left or right or Republican or liberal or whatever, you know? But as you watch more like debates and shit like that, you'll get like a proper opinion like, hey, this guy is doing the right thing. This guy has the right opinion. You probably have like a, a perfect world you would want to live in, right? But not being into politics can make it hard for you to understand um, can make it hard for you to understand what party you should be voting for. And only once you hear them talk about their talking points and 
see what they want to change about the country or, or that shit, you can be like, oh, this guy is going the right direction, you know? Everybody has an opinion, but no one knows who shares that opinion. Like, if you're not into politics, it's hard to get into politics. It's hard to vote if you are not into politics, right? That was a long ball. Wicked. But yeah, be interested in others. But that being said, you should have opinions. And you should look for people with similar opinions. However, don't filter without results. If you're like, damn, I have no fucking clue who to vote for. Don't be like, ah, all my friends are voting fucking Donald Trump, so I'm a vote Trump vote too. Nah, man. Be like, damn. Uh... Then just, like, don't fucking vote. I did the example I had was not voting, wasn't politics. The example I have for this is like, this is one guy I'm friends with, right? He's a little virgin boy. Fucking never really kissed a guy. Uh, never kissed a guy, I don't think he's going to, but never kissed a girl too. Um, and. Like. Uh, he was like, yo. Ah, my girl has uh, blonde uh, hair with blue eyes and yada 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 yada. And I was like, dog, what if you meet a very pretty, like, Arabic lady, right? Um. Uh, Arab lady. Arab. Water with flavor. No, a Arab. Arab? Yeah. But what if you meet like a... Or like a African lady, right? What if you meet a very nice like... Um, I don't really have like filters. And that's like dumb to me. He, he is having trouble... Getting like anything. He probably wants like a serious relationship. But being like, oh, you gotta look like this. I get it with like personality, right? You don't want someone that's just fucking horrible but don't go for certain looks if you find other looks attractive too you know like um don't filter without results let's go this is gonna be another fat win i'm gonna get into my third talking points hopefully i can finish this within uh, three four games so next thing i want to talk about is think about karma small more it's important uh, to think about your karma, right? If some homeless guy comes up to me and it's like, "Yo, you got you got some coins," and I don't, I'm gonna be like, "Nah." But nowadays we have like um, a bunch of like, I don't know what it's called, but like returning money on like plastic bottles. Uh, we got money for returning plastic bottles, so homeless people go through garbage uh, to find plastic bottles and then give them to like the stores, right? And it's a great little way to make money. I think it's very smart how it's like implemented. Because it, it, people still throw away their like small bottles. It used to be, it first be only big bottles. And of course like you're going to bring those back yourself. Those, those don't even fit in the garbage. Uh, but now like this small like 33 or 300 milliliter bottles. Like are also with money on them. So a lot of homeless people go through garbage being like hey. I want those cents, man. It's 15 cents a bottle. Hey, that counts up. 20 bottles in a day. Two bucks. That's a joint. You know? I don't know. Like, that's pretty much what it, like, kind of comes down to. Um, but that being said, like, for that reason, I throw a bit more, like, bottles in the garbage. I throw a bit more. Or if a homeless person comes to me and it's like, yo, can I have that bottle? I'm like, yeah, sure, dog. Go have it. And if some homeless guy comes up to me, asks for a ciggy, I'm gonna be like, sure. But like, be nice. Being a nice human may also just makes you more open for opportunity. If you're a dick all the time and you want to be this cool little dick guy, it's not gonna give you many opportunities, right? People wanna need to be wanting to spend time with you to get you into like doing shit. Ah, I could have had that if I just flipped. Um, so yeah, be nice, stand your own. Um, if you have an opinion, don't let older people, don't get too like push over you, right? Don't be scared to voice your opinion. Uh, just be nice. Um, also be introspective, stay calm. Uh, it helps a lot, like, um, uh, 
it helps a lot to like uh, be introspective. Let me just finish this like in the fucking end screen. It helps a lot to be introspective. You can be like, okay, what went wrong today, and think about how to not make it go wrong next time, right? But don't overdo it. Don't go dive into your own personality and be like, tomorrow I'm gonna stop saying your and say uh huh. That doesn't matter. But think about how you act throughout the day and how you act throughout things happening to you. Last of all, read, write, meditate. Either one of those three or all three. I read, write, and meditate, honestly. Not med meditating, I don't know. Meditating can be anything. I go to the forest with my phone and record like voice memos for myself. I think that's a good way of meditating. Praying, great way of meditating. Uh, I'm low-key religious, but like... Um, like it's a, I have a lot of respect for people that pray a lot since it does just give you a lot of time with yourself and God, I guess. Um, but yeah, meditate and write. It's always nice to write. You can write about whatever. Just go through whatever you did and read. It's just a great little brain teaser. Um, and read what you wrote. It's nice to uh, like listen back or read back about like your day or, or your mindset. But that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, a little bit of a longer one, I think, probably. Depends on how I edit it. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Go check out From the Interplanet. Back on Ethos. Very cool video. I think you'd like it.